Today the question is, how do you key in a modified block style letter? We're going to work with Word 2007, which is very similar to the new Word 2010. I've just opened up a blank document here, and let me tell you first a little bit about the tabs in a blank document. By default, you have a tab set every half inch. Do you see how I'm running across the top here? It's going to be every half an inch. In fact, I'll turn on my show hide markers here. I love these things. And you'll see that every time I have tabbed, it's been a tab that is set every one half inch across the page. Well, we're going to change that just a little bit to type a modified block letter because whenever I go in and I set a manual tab, then it trumps the default tab. So all of those go away, the one half inch ones go away, and I have a new one. Now, modified block letter means that there's something about a block style letter that has been modified. I would like for the date line to begin at the center point. It's going to be three and a quarter. I will click one time. It'll take me to my three and one quarter, and I'm going to type the date. Always remember to use the full spelled out version of the date. That's the month, the date, a comma, a space, and the year. Strike my enter key two times, which will give me two hard returns. One, two. By the way, if you have your show hide markers on, you'll see that that looks like this little backwards P. And that little symbol right there means that I have I have actually gone down and tapped the enter key on my keyboard. Okay? Once I have that in place, I'm ready to type the letter address. Now, I don't want the default, which is Word 2007 and 2010's default of 1.15 spaces between my lines, vertically speaking. Instead, I want the name of this person's company to go directly underneath it in a single space fashion. So because of that, I'm going to use what's called a line break. And the easiest way to get to a line break is to hold down your shift key and press enter. After the company name, I want to line break again, so I'm going to shift enter. After the address, I also want to line break, so I will press shift enter. And by the way, do you see that that looks a little bit different than the hard return? It's just like a little backwards arrow. Then the last line is going to be the city, state, and zip. That's the city, comma, space. Two-letter state abbreviation is going to be the two letters capitalized, no punctuation around it, space one time before your zip code. I do not want it to be a line break. Instead, I want the full 1.15 space, so I will just strike my enter key one time. This is my salutation. I want to type this modified block style letter in mixed punctuation. Mixed punctuation involves two things. It involves a colon, which is the two dots, directly following the name of the person who will be receiving the letter inside the salutation. That's the first part. The second part will be in the complementary close. All right, after my colon, I'm going to strike my enter key once which will again leave that default space of 1.15. Then I'm ready to begin my letter. Notice that I just allowed it to word wrap. When I allow it to word wrap, it automatically single spaces inside my paragraph. When I'm ready for the paragraph to end, I want to just strike my enter key, which will leave the 1.15 spaces between. I finished the paragraph. After the paragraph, I'm going to strike my enter key one time, which will leave the 1.15 space. I once again want my closing lines to be modified. I want them to begin at the center. I didn't say highlight it and center it. Instead, I said I want it to begin at the center, which was three and one quarter inch. So I'm going to tab over because I already had it set from the top. Then I'm going to type my complementary close. By the way, if you have a two-word complementary close, only the first word is capitalized. Since I'm typing this letter in mixed punctuation, I'm going to follow the complementary close with a comma. 
I will strike my inner key two times to leave enough room for the writer to sign his or her letter. Tab over for the writer's name. Notice here that I did include the title of Ms. Ryder on the same line as her name, and the reason I did that is because they're both fairly short. When you have a short name and a short title, you can separate the two with a comma and leave them both on the same line. Otherwise, you would want to put a line break here and follow it with the title directly below the writer's name. Press my Enter key for a hard return, and it's time for me to type my initials. Because I have autocorrect on, of course it's going to think that, that that K is the beginning of a new word or a new sentence, and it's going to automatically capitalize it, as you can see, that it just did when I hit a space after that. Go up to your undo and the little dot down chevron arrow beside it, click there, and you can take off, undo that autocorrect, which as you can see will make my K a small K. Strike your inner key one time. Make an enclosure notation at the bottom. And it would be plural if there's more than one, which there is. I'm going to follow it with a colon. Now, do you remember me saying that all of my default tabs are gone? So at this point, there's only one tab set that's at the center. I will put in a tab beginning at one inch. That tab is only good from this point down into the letter, not above it. I have two enclosures, and I'd really like for those to be listed directly below each other, but single-spaced. So, what do I do? I use a line break. Shift, enter. Now you're getting the hang of it, aren't you? So I want to tab one more time and put the second enclosure. Now let's say, for example, that I would also like to send this letter as a copy to someone else. I'm going to strike my enter key, which will leave me my full 1.1 five space between there and I'm going to put a little C for copy. Used to be CC for carbon copy. Sometimes people will use CC for courtesy copy. You want your copy notation to be at a one half inch. My lowercase c became a capital C. Go up and click autocorrect. And I want to send a copy of this too. I'm going to use my shift enter to get to the next line. Press my tab key again and also send a copy. Center this letter vertically. Click on Page Layout. Go to the Page Setup group. Open the dialog box. Go to Layout, which is the third tab. You'll see Page, Vertical Alignment, and I want it to be centered. Now my letter looks much better. That's a hard return. That's a line break. That's a hard return. Highlight my letter address. Filling envelope. Click Add to Document. Places my envelope directly above my letter. So now I have both of them in a nice handy spot and ready for mailing.